crime and what I did? That's right, Toots. I'm smart. Who are you? Your boss's nephew, David Vickers Buchanan. Never heard of you. My father's Bo Buchanan, the former police commissioner. So what, you're gonna call daddy in for a raid? Or maybe you're just trying to get a free lap dance? I don't have to call my... I'm sorry, what? A free what? Everyone knows I was an exotic dancer in Vegas. I don't have any secrets. Are you sure about that? Is the Pope German? I don't know, is he? Yeah, pretty sure. See, I've always found that confusing. What with him living in Italy and all, you'd think... Don't you change the subject. Remember, I'm smart. We were talking about your secret. I told you, I don't have a secret. That's not what Neville told me. You remember Neville, don't you? So we're... Oh. Nigel's dentally challenged look-alike cousin. Never heard of him. Oh, don't give me that. Neville spilled the whole story over a single glass of sherry. Told me all about you. Who are you again? I told you. I'm David Vickers Buchanan of the London and Landview Buchanans. Nigel is our butler here. Neville is our butler there. Nigel is ticklish. Neville has the teeth of a windmill. What is so confusing? And you broke Neville's heart without ever thinking twice. You must have me confused with somebody else. Oh, I've got the right body. Neville described it right down to the push-up bra. I can't help it if he liked what he saw. So you didn't ply Neville with alcohol and promise him that lap dance that you assumed that I wanted, which I do if it's free and I'll tip you. That was part of my old job description. Doesn't mean you can't put those skills to good use. You got Neville to tell the truth to Clint about his unfaithful wife, didn't you? And then you could have Clint all to yourself. Actually, why don't we talk about this later? How much later? Tonight, over drinks at Roadies or wherever you're staying. Oh, boy. Wherever you did your training, you must have skipped the class on subtlety. You calling me a gold digger? Takes one to know one. So this isn't about me breaking your uncle's heart. It's about me using it to get my hands on the Buchanan billions. Looks like maybe you're smart, too. So the only question left is, which one of us is smarterest? And I'll tell you something, Cupcake. If anybody's getting their hands on that money, it's me. Game on. So you admit it. You used Neville to get to my uncle. No one used Neville for anything. He flew here from London to tell his master the truth about his wife's affair. Until Nigel talked him out of it. Yeah, Nigel's a control freak. Oh, look who's talking. You're the one who played Henry Iggins and got Neville to pretend he was Nigel. All I did... All you did was break up Clinton Nora so you could take advantage. No one can take advantage of Clint Buchanan. Many have tried and failed. Including you? Including me. But he's my uncle now. This is my family. Really? I've got the genes to prove it, and I'm not going to let you start sleeping your way through my fortune, Princess Velvet Thighs. This family isn't big enough for the both of us. Maybe we I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just Clint's assistant. That's it. Oh, right. And it's always been your dream to have a 9-to-5 job and wear sensible shoes. Spend eight hours in platform heels and a G-string. See how you feel. Actually, Berlin, 97. I was so broke I had to take a job in a club where I wore the... That's irrelevant. So you're only here for the day job, huh? Yeah, and I'm going to get really good at it, too. I'm learning a lot about computers and filing. All the better for you to gain access to Clint's financial records. His password is triple protected. Which you just happen to know. Like I said, I'm his assistant. So unless you have an appointment with Mr. Buchanan, we're done here. You're sort of skipping the part where Mr. Buchanan's going to be upset when he finds out you ruined his marriage. I didn't ruin anything. His wife already did that by cheating on him with his own brother. Get out of Clint's life. Now. What if I don't? Well, I guess I'll be forced to tell him the truth. Tell who the truth about what? <sighs> Go ahead. Tell him. I thought you wanted to. Someone tell me what's going on. Kimberly has the floor. I have a confession to make. Oh? Right when you first hired me, I found out something. Accidentally. She was eavesdropping. I overheard Nigel's cousin say that Mrs. B was in love with your brother. Neville? He was here? Mm-hmm. Nigel told him that it was improper if they were to interfere with their employer's personal lives, so he left. Only he didn't. Why didn't he leave? I convinced him to pretend to be Nigel, just so he would tell you the truth. You did what? 
I'm really sorry. I just respect you that much not to keep it from you. I mean, I would have told you myself, but we just met. We barely knew each other. I didn't think you'd believe me. So you had Neville pretend to be Nigel? Yeah, Nigel's been your loyal servant for, like, forever. I figured if he said something, you'd believe it. Yeah, it's just too bad that Nigel never said it. He was trying to protect you, I guess. Look, I know how much this hurts you. I'm really sorry. <laughs> you bet she is. <laughs> I just thought it'd be better this way before anybody found out. I just didn't want you to be embarrassed. You're not going to stand for this, right, Uncle Clint? That's what you can do. Throw her out? I'll get my things. I'll be gone before you know it. No, you're not going anywhere. You want to call the cops? No, I want to shake your hand. Thank you for opening my eyes, even if what I saw wasn't very pleasant. Excuse me? And you, what? How long have you known that Bo was seeing Nora on the side? I don't see how that's relevant. Uh, so long as you kept your inheritance, huh? Uncle Clint! Now, don't you Uncle Clint me, all right? Seems that the only person around here who has my best interest at heart is Kim. You know it. You're not firing her? No, I'm giving her a raise. And as for you, Vickers, you cannon. You are Bo's son. Bo's no longer my brother. That means you're nothing to me. So get out of my house. Ross is presumed dead. But you can't just throw me out. Sure I can. It's my house. Nora had to sign it over to me. But I'm family. I have recently seen what family can do. I was trying to protect you. I have Kim for that. Mr. Vickers, have a good afternoon. You're really not mad about what I did? You know something? You're not the first person to see an opportunity and then take it. Mr. B, I, Now, you I, ended my marriage, and for that I'm very appreciative. But you didn't do it for me. And you're not throwing me out? You know, it's fairly obvious to me that you're looking for a sugar daddy. Now then, if I'm going to be the daddy, sooner or later, we're going to have to talk about the sugar. Vickers Buchanan. You call me back ASAP. That means as soon as possible. You dodge my calls all you want, Ford. I will find you. Wait, so you guys sure you have room? 